What's up everybody, we're back with another anime tier list video, but this time it's for 2022. So as you can see on my screen right now, I have my top five listed from my previous anime tier list. So if you haven't seen that first, I'll recommend seeing that first, as you can tell from this list currently. The list is really not that big, cause you know, before it was everything that I watched up to that moment. But for this, this is covering all the new anime that I started in 2022. So I'm not counting like new seasons or anything. It's just new shows that I started. So like I mentioned in every one of my anime videos where I rank or judge something, it is all my personal opinion, right? So don't try to flame me in the comments. You can leave your opinions too. You're open to do that. But like, just understand this is my personal opinion. I'm not representing the show like as a whole. It's what I think of the show. It's, it's, it's my tier list. So same rankings as before. We have the S tier, which I think is, you know, like, just freaking masterpiece anime or you know just like the highest rated a which is just like exceptionally good right b is pretty good uh c is kind of just like average just like eh. d i would say is like bad but it's not necessarily horrible and then garbo is just straight like bruh it sucks all right so let's get started one of the first ones that i watched this year was akame got kill um what i want to rate this man this anime was just tragic like i'm not gonna spoil anything but mm, that's just all tragedy <laughs> but honestly it was pretty good mm, i don't know i'm not gonna rate it too high i would say i would put it in the b tier um so like it was like a pretty good anime i definitely recommend watching it if you haven't especially if you're into extreme violence gore and action and um if you you know you just like tragedy just like attack on titan up here so if you like all that then i'd recommend seeing that yeah, so I'm comfortable putting it in the B tier. Next, we got Bleach. So funny story with this, I actually started this, it was like 2017, but I couldn't get through the beginning. So I didn't start it again until recently this year because one of my friends was actually telling me it was like really, really good. And then like, I trust his anime taste. So I finally gave it a chance. I got back into it and I got to say like, it's actually really solid. I can see why it was like the big three. Now that's like, you know, talking about the manga, but still like the story and, you know, action points, it's just a very, well put together shonen story. <laughs> but what I would rate this, uh, for me, is hovering between here and here, right? When I watched it, I skipped a lot of fillers, right? Uh, I did not watch any fillers at all. I just watched all of the canon stuff. <sighs> So like, I don't really want that to be a huge fact of me rating it though, which is kind of like a point, but honestly, I did really enjoy the show. So I'm gonna put it here in A. I don't think it's S tier or anything, but really good action, really good like plot points. Once you get deeper into the story, like once you get to the Soul Society arc, everything after that is like pretty good. But like when he first gets his powers in the beginning, oh my gosh, like it's so freaking slow, bro. I'll say like, if you can get to the Soul Society arc, you're good, right? But yeah, once you start seeing those Bankais, you know, you're like, mm, mm, it's, it's just too good, bro. Bankai! So yes, I would say I would put it here. So now going into the next Bleach, which is the one that's currently out right now. So the Thousand Year Blood War arc. So I separated those just because like, I feel like they're kind of two different feels. So for this one, I don't know if it, I'm just heavily biased towards that animation, but I would put it up here, at least where it's currently at. Cause there's just like so much stuff going on right now. And the animation, like, I don't know. I would put it in the S tier, at least like currently right now. I know it's kind of early, but that's, that's, that's where I'm gonna put it. So if you're a Bleach fan, like you would know if you're watching this right now, it, mm, it, it it's good. So now going into another anime that actually released this season currently was Blue Lock. So I remember like I saw some trailers for it and thought it would like be pretty cool, but I didn't really know what to expect from it. And I can say it's actually really, 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 really good. So like, I don't want to spoil anything, but it just like, like I mentioned in one of my old videos where I was mentioning it, it's about, you know, soccer or football, but they add more of like high stakes into it. And it's not like, you know, you're, happy go lucky, let's do teamwork and beat the other team, like blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, there's obviously teamwork in there, but this one adds high stakes and you have to be like super selfish as a striker in it. So it is about everybody, you know, building their own skills. Like, you know, they still have to work as a team, but that person is trying to be the best striker. So it's just like teams full of strikers. <laughs> I don't want to like spoil the plot points, but you know, if you want to get into a sports anime, I honestly think this is one of the best ones to start off with. It is interesting. Just go, just go watch it. So I'm going to rate it a tier and it's like so weird because it's just like, I like some anime that are quick to the point. It's, it's, it's like this because blue lock is just good, man. Ah, you know what? I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and do it, man. I'm gonna put it above bleach. So like, if you didn't know what I'm mentioning is like, 
left to right will be from like best to worst. So these two, I always get like, it's, it's hard with Naruto and One Piece. So I, was, I would almost call it a tie on those. But yeah, left to right is generally like best to worst for me. But yeah, if you've been wanting to get into a sports anime, I highly recommend Blue Lock. And it also adds, you know, your, you know, traditional anime styled stuff into the sports too. Without being like too over the top, it's a little over the top, but it's just like the animation style of it. All right, I'm talking too much. Let's get to Chainsaw Man. So this is actually interesting because I read the manga first before watching the anime, which was like the first time I've done that for anything. And this one is doing a really solid job. Now I will say like Chainsaw Man is a little all over the place. Like it's not, I don't want to like talk on it too much because I haven't like read the whole thing. I'm ahead of the anime in the manga, but it's like very fast paced, right? So sometimes I feel like, you know, they could slow down and try to like build the plot up a little more. But overall, I think it's doing pretty well. So I'm a, I'm going to put Chainsaw Man, at least like now it, having it be so early at an A, but I'll put it at the top. Mainly because like it is really grabbing my attention and the animation on there is really, really awesome. I don't know, yeah, you can't really think too deep about Chainsaw Man. Now, there are like you know good story points in there, but I think it's really all about craziness, animation, artwork, all that stuff. So that's why I would give it A tier. Um, as it gets later in it, like some more crazy things happen, I think that will maybe bump it up higher. But I'm th I think for right now as an anime, I'm gonna put in the A tier. All right, next we got JoJo's part six. For all the JoJo's, I separated them into different parts, mainly because like it's like a different story each time. But for part six, so it's pretty good, but I won't say like, ah, I don't know. Like I haven't watched the, the last bit of the season, um, but I still gotta watch that. But for now, I'm thinking it's in the, Mm, in the B tier for now, okay. I would put it above Akame Got Kill, but I wouldn't necessarily put it at A. Like most of the JoJo's that I watch are either like S or A tier, at least from like the ones that I liked. But for this one, like it's not necessarily my favorite one. Now there are like, you know, some cool stuff in it and things like that, but I don't know. To me, it's not one of my favorite JoJo's so far. But it's not bad though, like it's still good. So that's why I think I'm gonna put it in the B tier. All right, next we have Neon Genesis Evangelion. That was a very interesting show. I think it like it's supposed to have a deeper meaning than, you know, just the anime itself. But I don't know. It was like the beginning of it was kind of I want to say hard to get through, but it was just like I was kind of wondering what the whole point of the show was. But as it got closer to the end, it did ramp up more and they have movies that you can watch on side of it. And that opening scene to the movie, what was it? I think it was like End of Evangelion. Bro, that was that was weird. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. Like with this, uh, I don't know. Some people really connect with this, but for me, mm, y'all might hate me for this. I'm gonna give it like C. I would say like C plus or like B minus. Cause like I mean, like near the end, it did grab my attention, but as a whole, I'm, I'm just like, eh, yeah. The only thing I really liked about it was the opening. <clears throat> yeah, don't hate me in the comments. Next, we have Ranking of Kings, and when you like first look at this anime, you're gonna be like. Bro, like, what is this? Like, if you look at some trailers or whatever, but there is a moment in the pilot episode that, I don't know, man, it just set the tone for it and it just went like, it was really nice. And it's weird because the animation is so simple, but it's good and there's actually like violence in there too. So uh, I was actually a huge fan of Ranking of Kings and I can't wait for the second season. I'm gonna give it, uh, I'm gonna give it an A, but I don't know where it falls in here because Every anime has its own thing, like, cause this is another short anime. I think it was only 12 episodes. I don't know, it's just like, it was pretty quick to the point. It didn't really waste time. Yeah, I'm gonna put it above Bleach again, because only because uh, there's some points in Bleach where it's just kind of like too slow, man. And like really, Ranking the Kings surprised me. So that's a like newer gen anime. But if you have not seen it, I highly recommend watching it. It's a really short anime too, so you can get through it fast. Even my mom watched it and liked it. But yeah, I don't wanna spoil like what that moment is, but just give the ep first episode a chance. And if you don't like it by the end of the episode, then, you know, whatever, but give it a chance, it's really good. All right, next we have ReZero and this one. Oh my goodness, it's kind of crazy with some of the, the violence and just <laughs> some of the stuff that happens in that show, man, it's just crazy. So this is a isekai anime. So, you know, you get summoned into like a different world. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, got a video game genre. For this one, um, mm, I think I'm gonna put it in the B tier, but where will I put it in the B tier? So like, it was a pretty good anime, but it, 
it has some like I don't know how to explain it. Like there's just some dull points in there and it's not like filler or anything, but it's just like, like what is the grand scheme of the plot? Like it just kind of looks like he just wants to be like stuck in there and not really escape or anything. And it's just, ah. I mean like I know the grand, I know the grand scheme of the plot, right? I know what he's trying to do, but I'm not trying to spoil anything, but I don't know. I just feel like it could have something a little deeper, but it is, you know, an interesting anime. I'll put it above um, a comic got kill. But again, this is like another like tragic anime, man. It's just, mm, it's tragic. But yeah, I think I'm I'm comfortable putting it there. So pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So next we have Spy Family. So with this one, this honestly really surprised me, especially in the first season. Um, I'm still watching the second season. The second season, at least where I'm at right now, is like not as good as the first season. But this show did surprise me. So I would say it is between like A and B for me. Ah, uh, goodness, <laughs> it's tough. Um, I would give it a B tier, but it's pretty up there because it's just a very lighthearted, fun anime. You know, it's like not really like a whole bunch of action or action based, but there is action in it. But it's mainly just like lighthearted comedy, right? Now, which one did I enjoy more, JoJo's or this? Um, mm, I would say, ah, uh, I would say at least currently, I was I enjoyed Spy Family more over JoJo's Part Six. Yeah, I'm gonna put it there. I think it's like B plus, B plus, A minus. That's kind of what I give it, right? Also, quick interruption with the video. If you want to see more videos like this, I will do these every year. Uh, but if you want to see, you know, more anime content, some other stuff that I have on my channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. So next we have Steins Gate. So with Steins Gate, this was an interesting one because it is like a really high regarded anime. And, you know, I can see why. But like the beginning was just kind of slow. Once a certain point hit in the anime, that's when it just like really ramped up and I was just like on the edge of my seat the entire time. So with that being said, a lot of people wanted to be up here. Uh, but I would put it, I'll put it in A, but it's gonna be high up there. It's just like, it's so weird with some anime. Like it's just something you can't really compare because they're just different genres. You know what, I'm gonna put it at the top of the A tier. Yeah. It was a really solid anime, especially like like I said, once you hit that certain point, it just goes crazy. And I was like on the on the edge of my seat the entire time. And the opening for that freaking show is amazing, bro. One of my favorites. And the soundtrack too. Soundtrack's really good. But yeah, I would say A tier. And this is good if you like a time travel type anime. Now I know like a lot of people were saying since I liked Erased a lot, that I would also like Steins Gate and I think it kind of correlates it's a little different but you know if you like your time travel anime and kind of like a i don't know if i want to call it a psychological thriller but if you like that style of it you'll like steins gate and we're getting close to the finish line next we have tekken bloodline so when i first saw this i was actually getting really hyped that they were gonna make an anime series for tekken because yeah, i'm a huge tekken fan when i watched it it was just you know like the plot really isn't that deep for tekken so it's kind of hard to make an anime like you know and just make it really good now, I won't say it was bad, but it was just like, if you're a Tekken fan, I would definitely recommend watching it. But there are some plot points that got a little wrong or like jumbled a little bit. Um, so I would put in a C tier, but I would classify more as like a, like a C plus. Yeah, it's really like, it, it didn't really grab my attention to want to keep watching it. I actually like took a break from it for a while and then had to come back to it. But if you're a Tekken fan, I recommend watching it just to, you know, see what it's all about. But yeah, it was just, it was, it was all right, you know, just as a Tekken fan. But if you don't know anything about Tekken, I feel like it's going to be a little boring. <laughs> all right. And next we have another time travel styled anime. And this again, I, I think this too, if you like the race, you will really like Tokyo Revengers Garbo. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, not D, not C, B, A, S. Mm, um, I'm thinking like here or uh, based on the ones I have up here. Ah, goodness. The thing is like, look, Bleach is good, but uh, it was just so hard to get through the beginning. And there's some like painstaking points in the show. Uh, that's why I hate like having those long anime that, are, that have a lot of filler in it and ranking them. Uh, what did I enjoy more? Dang. All right, Blue Lock or this? I'll probably say Tokyo Avengers. Tokyo Avengers or Chainsaw Man? Dang. <laughs> oh, okay, it's just so early for Chainsaw Man. I'm gonna put it above. Steins Gate or Tokyo Avengers? Uh, gosh, dang it. Okay, I'll put it here. I'll put it there. 
Ah, oh, that's where I'm gonna put it. I actually really enjoyed the show. I think some people want to crap on it or say it's like not like super good, but I I was a huge fan of it. And also the way they ended that first season, bro, that's crazy. I'm not gonna even show that, but that was a crazy way to end it. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up here. I know some of y'all are probably gonna be in the comments like this dude's ranking system is just so flawed. But I'm just kind of, I'm just trying to go from in here, man. Like, I don't know, like, that's just what's speaking to me. Some of the anime is just, like, too early to give it, like, a super high ranking. But, yeah, that's just, that's kind of how I feel about it right now. All right, next, we got Tomodachi Game. So, this was almost like, they try to make, like, a Squid Games, but without it being, you know, as severe or anything. But, like, as it got later into it, I actually enjoyed it more than the early portions of it. So, I will say, like, I won't put... I don't know if I'll put it in C because I actually did like it as it was going through more and like there was more to it because they kind of like I had a point where they almost were setting it up for, like the plot line to be something and then they just said it pretty early on like already kind of solving it and then it just made it feel weird um, but I will say I'll put it in the B tier but at the very bottom so it will be interesting to see what comes in the next season but yeah so if you want to see some like high stakes games where you're like pitting friends against each other I would say that's a pretty good anime to watch but it wasn't anything like too special. So that's why I'll give like bottom of the B tier, right? So if I had like my full list up here, it'd be pretty low at the bottom of the B tier. And last but not least, we got Yu Yu Hakusho. So just an extreme classic. Also, the opening for this is amazing. So Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm. So what's funny is that with Yu Yu Hakusho, there's so many parallels with Bleach. Like there's so many. I want to like put it top of the B tier or like somewhere here in the A tier. It's like, it's a classic, but it wasn't like, in my opinion, like outrageously good. Like it was good, but it was more of like, just like kind of like the classic nostalgic feel with it. Dang it. So I honestly did like Bleach more than Yu Yu Hakusho, even though like Bleach was kind of pulling from that in a way. I'll put it there. I think, I think that's a good spot. But yeah, with these two, it's basically the same, like, you know, basically almost like half human, half spirit dude, you know, get some powers and use it like really strong, blah, blah, blah. And then there's even like part of the series later on where some new villain comes in, basically has like the same type of power thing where they're the same type of person as the main character. It's like, there's just so many parallels, but yeah, that's just really tough. But I, I would, I feel comfortable putting it there. So get a good look at the tier list. So this is the top five from last year. Uh, nothing changed. I would not put the uh, like Thousand Year Blood Work above any of these, but yeah, these are I'm currently my top five anime nothing changed you got the s tier a tier right here b tier right here and then c tier spoiler alert i don't really watch too many shows i would put in like d or garbo mainly because i don't start the show unless i think i'm gonna like it right but yeah let me know what you think down in the comment section below you could probably trash my rating system question of the day leave your top five anime in the comment section below and then also be sure to watch my 2021 tier list so you can see every single anime that i've watched and see how i ranked those also you can go in the description look at my anime list i'll have my profile on there where i list all the anime that I'm watching, you can see what I'm currently watching, what I have on hold, what I've completed, including movies, and actually like how I rate it on a scale out of 10. And you can see like what episode I'm currently on for some things. But yeah, that's the 2022 tier list. Next year, I'll have another tier list based on some other anime I'm gonna be watching next year. Let me know what shows I should watch. I'm always in need of some recommendations. But yeah, otherwise than that, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next year. Peace.